In this video, I'll give you a quick overview of FSOF's ID reading technology, QuickScreen, and how you can provide your UiPath bots the ability to tap into this service and read over 200 types of IDs out of the box across the globe. So what is QuickScreen? QuickScreen provides a simple, easy-to-use application for a wide variety of screening and onboarding use cases involving identification documents. It has out-of-the-box capabilities to extract passport, license, and ID data, and classify and process accompanying documents through mobile, scanners, file upload, and email. It can then place the ID, documents, and data in just about any format or system to help organizations realize its true value. For this overview, we'll leverage web services to tap into the power of Quick, quick Screen from UiPath. For IDs, it provides the recognition of passports, licenses, and IDs, and it supports 200 different types throughout the world. It will not only extract all relevant data, but also provide snippets of the individual's photo and signature as auto-cropped images for advanced validation and verification against other data sources and services. There are two options with FSOPT and UiPath. First is as a front-end acquisition tool. To give a high-level use case, here's one around infectious disease screening that was a scenario required by a private company providing screening services to one of the largest U.S. states. Screening forms and IDs are processed on a tablet or phone with FSOF's mobile capture application. The app passes the documents to a secure processing server, either on-premise or cloud-hosted. That process server identifies the type of document, extracts data and validates, and then passes the data to a UiPath robot. They can make decisions with the provided data and execute their workflows. In the second method, UiPath can call QuickScreen mid-flow and you can leverage FSOF's existing activities in Studio to tap into a web services endpoint and gain access to the data and images this provides, mid-process information injection of ID context to make your robots ID aware and can be used across a variety of usage scenarios. So let's get into a demo and see how it works. So let's open up UiPath Studio and take a peek at, uh, at what we've got going here. So uh, Episoft has a partnership with UiPath and we've actually got some activities that are built in. So if we come in here, you can see uh, both batch centric and file centric activities. So you've got the ability to build out a scope which lets you create authentication and then you can either process batches of documents or you've got the ability to interact with individual documents through synchronous and asynchronous web services leveraging uh, these, these different functions. So let's go ahead and kick off a, a process and we'll start our ID reader which is picking up this particular license. And IDs are challenging. When you look at passports, driver's licenses, all different types of IDs across the globe, uh, they've got watermarks, color, uh, they're all different. They use different terminology. What QuickScreen does is it cleans up the image, OCRs and extracts the metadata very accurately, and then hands it to you. Okay. It's also going to auto-crop the face and the signature and create those as individual snippets. And in this case, we'll actually output those into a directory. So this should be done here in a moment, and we'll take a peek. You can see here that if you look in the... Uh, UiPath configuration. There's actually a transact scope which kind of encompasses different extraction methodologies that we can do with our um, with our activities. We do a single page extraction and then we extract all the fields. And if you look at my right lines down here you can actually see the output. You can see we extracted the address, date of birth, all those bits and pieces. And the end result here is that we've actually uh, exported these uh, with the extracted name into a folder. So just as a sample, obviously your robots, you can take that and, and read that data and make decisions based on it. But if I come into the Janus sample, you can see I auto-cropped her uh, face and I've also got the signature in there. And then I outputted, uh, in this case, just a structured file that has each of the different extracted data pieces along with a confidence level. So you can see it's very granular. It grabs just about everything on these IDs. Uh, in this case, this is all based on U.S. driver's licenses, but note we can do um, 
country IDs, we can do passports, all different types of identification documents. So that's a quick overview. Um, hopefully you got something out of it. And if you have an ID need for your UiPath robots, give us a shout at uh, fsoft.com. Thanks.